I think the question is that I get as well is, do you need any prerequisite knowledge or skills before you, you know, take this path that you've mentioned? Um, so like, do you need to know networking? Do you need to know Linux? Do you need to know scripting? So like some other people that I've interviewed have recommended like starting with like Network Plus from CompTIA or um, some other more basic certs before they go down the sort of pen testing route. Uh, what would you say to that? Right. So that's a great question. Um, I think it depends where you're at in terms of your knowledge. So for me, I didn't have the networking skills that I needed, but I knew a little bit of networking enough to allow me to um, get by and then kind of learn that stuff on my own without having to dedicate a chunk of time just to learn networking before I even start with that path. Um, so it really depends on you. If you're like completely new to IT, um, you don't uh, you don't know like the basic, let's say, Linux commands or Windows commands, then maybe yes, you do need to dedicate some time before that. I would say like the the three skills that you need and will definitely be helpful before you go through that path are one, like you mentioned, networking. So you need to understand what an IP address is, what a port is, um, that services can run on ports and so on. That's definitely going to come in handy. And it's going to be kind of like a long road if you don't know how to do that when um, or what that means when um, you start with these courses. So for networking, like you said, the CompTIA uh, Network Plus is a great resource. You don't have to actually go for the certification and do the exam. You could just get the book or uh, buy a course online that teaches that specific certification and just understand the material enough so that you're comfortable to go through uh, the path that I recommended. So that's the first one, networking. The second one is just basic Linux and Windows commands. For Linux commands, that's really easy to get online. There's a ton of uh, platforms that teach you that for free. Um, an example of that is, I believe it's called Over the Wire, uh, where it's kind of like a gamified version of of uh, learning how to do commands in uh, Linux and how to do operations in Linux. Now for Windows, it's a little bit harder because there's like licensing issues when it comes to the Windows operating system. And so the way I recommend you get that experience is just like download a trial version of a Windows VM and then try to perform the Linux commands that you learned but using Windows commands. And you don't need to know that many commands, just like the basics. And so I recommend just downloading a VM and trying to practice that on your own. So that would be the second one. Um, the third one would be, and this one's controversial, um, <laughs> but the third one <laughs> is scripting. I know you know what I'm getting at, but scripting or programming. It's controversial because a lot of people will argue you don't need that as a pen tester. I'm with the opinion that you absolutely need to know some form of scripting or programming in order for you to be a good pen tester. Now, would I get started with that? I don't think so. But I think at some point in your career, you will need to know how to script um, in order to advance yourself. So uh, the Cyber Mentor, the course that I had mentioned, he actually has, I believe, uh, it's been a while since I've seen the course, but he has like a section for networking basics. And then he also has a section for uh, programming basics in Python. Um, and so um, that section, I think, is enough for now. And then when you come across a certain task where you need to automate that task to make your life easier, then you could um, just Google it, um, like Google the action that you want to perform. And that's essentially how you will advance your programming skills. So uh, to sum up, three skills, networking, uh, Linux, and Windows, uh, what is it called? Operations, being able to do um, operations in Linux and Windows. And then the third one is uh, programming or scripting. 